Hello, Miss Archie. As you know, me and Alex Warmer are both rugby players. So for our project, we decided to do a common rugby play called the pop kick. In this play, Alex will kick a ball and I will be running along and catch the ball and hopefully score a try. For our project, we proposed a problem where I was 30 feet away from Alex and that I would travel 150 feet before catching the ball. What we are trying to figure out is how long into my run that Alex should kick the ball so that me and the ball both arrive at the desired location at the same time. To begin the project, we figured out first my acceleration and we found out that I reached my top speed after 10 yards. We were able to figure this out through a process where we first measured my speed that it took me to travel five yards and then the next five yards and then the next and the next and once we noticed that there was no noticeable decline in the amount of time it was taking me to travel five yards we realized that I was reaching top speed we figured that out was after ten yards So, for the next part of the project, we had to figure out what my top running speed was. We were able to calculate this through a high-speed filming of me running along the football track. We found out that I ran at a top speed of 32 feet per second. Next, we had to figure out the math behind Warmer's kick. We were able to discover that his kick would travel 147 feet, and that was through the use of Pythagorean theorem, where we subtract one side squared from the hypotenuse squared, giving us the other side squared. And through the use of another high-speed video, we were able to time how long it takes for Warmer's kick to travel in the air. It took 2.6 seconds for the ball to leave Wormer's foot and then land on the ground again. And for the purpose of this project, since we know none of the math for air resistance, we've decided to completely disregard it. And honestly, it's not really that big of a deal because it was quite a sunny day. Now, we actually get into the number crunching part of our calculus project. So, we decided that I must travel 120 feet before I will reach the desired location. And it's 120 feet instead of 150 feet because we subtracted the initial acceleration distance from the 150 feet, which was 30 feet, giving us 120 feet. And then the next step, we divided that distance by the speed at which I would be traveling for that distance, assuming that I kept my speed constant. And this gives us 3.75 seconds that it would take for me to travel to the desired location where I will hopefully catch the ball. Here we have the time that it will take me to get to the ball after acceleration time. And here we have the time that the ball will spin in the air. We are subtracting the two or we are subtracting the time that the ball will be in the air from the time that it will take me to run the remaining 120 feet to give us a number that represents the time that after I have reached constant, ex constant speed that Warmer should kick the ball. This number is 1.15 seconds and then we multiplied it by 32 to give us, give us the distance that I will travel during that 1.15 seconds. And then we added 30 feet to take into account the distance I traveled while accelerating, giving us 66.8 feet. And this number 
represents the point at which Wormer should kick the ball so that me and the ball will arrive at the exact same location at the exact same time. Although Toomey's math is damn near perfect, there are still some possible errors that could occur. Those could be such as air resistance, the ball's air time, which could be depending on the kick, or other human errors such as the measurements being slightly off, uh, the angle of the kick being different, resulting in different uh, distances between Caleb and the ball, or such as running in a straight line. The angle could be a little bit curved in the run. Or finally, the probability of Toomey actually catching the ball. After the 10 trials that we ran, Toomey only caught the ball successfully twice, giving him a 20% uh, probability that the play would actually be successfully